Get the hell out of here. I don't think I will. No, I think I will. You can't stay here. Because that can't. <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to where you came from. Okay, that does sound racist. <laughs> Damn, we predicted it. <laughs> For its intriguing art style and mysterious atmosphere, Spirits of Bachu sparks your curiosity to explore the strange and unknown world it offers. Spirits of Bachu is a 2D side scroller adventure slash mystery puzzle game where you play as a cat-like spirit who has to return the feather of an omnipotent owl spirit. You must track it down through solving puzzles and interacting with NPCs and the environment. Although it was a prologue, the game was very impressive for just an indie company consisting of two people. The main mechanics that stood out to me was how this puzzle game gave almost no sense of direction to the players. I myself got really stuck on a lot of different puzzles. <laughs> this game also had a very interactable environment for a 2D side scroller. Some puzzles actually you had to just click on the screen and just try to find some interactive clues through talking to NPCs to try find these actual like clues to solve to maybe progress in a story. This game had a very unique art style. It incorporated different styles of art from dark to cute anime type art while having some objects that look like crop real life images like these worms. A lot of places like this merchant's house was quite dark and gave a really eerie feeling reminding me of a lot of like dark scenes from Harry Potter and other things like that. Maybe a dark fantasy game. The sound design was very interesting and intriguing felt very mysterious and played a heavy role in its game. It gave a huge sense of mystery, horror and uneasiness to the players including myself. I'm going to talk back to the bloke. The music's quite interesting though. It makes it not horror but it gives it that really eerie feeling. The story of this game was quite unique, but basic at the same time, as you were a little spirit that had to fetch something and return it. But this was the prologue of the game, so I cannot wait to see what the overall story will can lead to. The main story is this omnipotent owl orders you to retrieve its feather, but as you try to retrieve its feather, you learn that this feather will cause chaos and cause imbalance to the spirit world. As you talk to the guardian of the feather, his dialogue starts to change to more eerie dialogue saying, let the chaos begin, which indicates that this feather will bring the total chaos of the spirit world. Overall, I enjoyed the time I had with this game, although I did get stuck on a step, which I thought was a bug, as an object did not spawn in for me. Luckily enough, I was able to contact the company, thinking it was a bug telling them to fix it, but they gave me a slight clue that assisted me, and I was able to complete and pass this step. Majority of the players liked the puzzles and the direction where the game took us, and just for the prologue, it was very impressive. But the game can be misleading at times, but that could that could be argued with what they were trying to achieve. The prologue currently, I don't think has much replayability, as you would know what the puzzles are and it would make the game quite boring. But if I was to rate this game, I would give it an 8 out of 10 as it was quite enjoyable while it lasted. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to see you in the next review.